to seek justice and resist evil, to proclaim and live out shalom. We thank you for guiding and directing the National Council of Churches in the Philippines for the past few years. And we shall Gaya natin iisa. Ako ay nasa kanila at ikaya ay nasa akin upang lubusan silang maging isa. At sa gayon, makikilala ng sanlibutan na sinubo mo ako at sila ay iniibig mo katulad ng pag-ibig mo sa akin. Jubilee is not only a time for celebration, but it is also a moment to ensure justice and human rights in the wider society. I found that NCCP has been one of the most powerful prophetic voices in the ecumenical world today. And it's justice for the poor and for nature. Here again, the National Council of Churches in the Philippines has been a prophetic ecumenical presence, an ecumenical movement with a difference. When most of the global ecumenical organizations have lost their movement character due to their rather slavish incorporation into the corporate logic and their dependence on the market wisdom, NCCP has remained a prophetic movement to the core through its solidarity with the marginalized. Even as we celebrate the Jubilee of the NCCP now, it is doing so through dynamic leadership and participation in the relief and rehabilitation ministry for the victims of the typhoon tragedy. The somber mode in which we celebrate the Jubilee and the decision to tone down the celebration into convert it into an act of solidarity with the victims itself speaks volumes about the prophetic character of the NCCP. And I wish the NCCP a very happy and meaningful jubilee. God bless the NCCP. God bless the Philippines. God bless all of us. Amen.
good people who cry for help, especially the many poor who are exploited by your kids too. The workers who are deprived of frightful wages, peasants and indigenous peoples forced to be them out and deprived of their lands. Citizens who are deprived of their right to help, education and other social services. Christ. 